Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here with another unboxing video for you. Today I want to unbox the Apple iPod Universal Dock, which will synchronize and charge your iPod while standing up on a dock, which just makes it that much more convenient as opposed to it lying flat on its back and possibly getting scratched while charging or synchronizing. Now I picked up this particular model, which is the older model, without the Apple remote for $3.48 on eBay which is absolutely fine because this uh, model still does have an infrared port on the front of it and I do have an Apple remote that came with my MacBook Pro so they should just work hand in hand. Now before we unbox it, let's take a quick look at the box. On the front we have a picture of the dock with an adapter. Now each iPod may require a different adapter and all of those adapters are included in the box. You've got some text, a logo. On the other side of it over here we have an Apple logo. On the top we have a clean slate. On the back, it looks like we have some diagrams of the dock with an infrared port, line in, 30 pin Apple cable, and we'll get more into that when I open the device. And over here, we have some of the iPods it's compatible with. And on the other side, we actually have the dock itself. It slides out here. Now, that just slides off, nothing else is in there. Now, uh, on the top here, obviously, we have some manuals. So let's check out the manuals first. I'm not sure if Apple stickers would come with this dock. So let's uh, let's check that out first. If I can get the documentation out of it. Alright, so here we have the iPod Universal Dock documentation. I'm not sure if it, the keyboard did not come with Apple stickers. Uh, no, this does not come with Apple stickers. comes with a uh, warranty and some information about the dock. Now let's get to the actual dock itself. When you open up the book, you're greeted by two sides. Over here, we have all of the different dock adapters for all of the different iPods. So for instance, the 4th generation iPod, the 20 and 30 gig version is at the top. The iPod 4th generation, 40 and 60 gig version is second, and so on and so forth. Now, it supports the iPod 4th gen, iPod Nano 1st gen, iPod 5th gen, uh, and the iPod Nano 2nd generation, which is the aluminum ones, which are out now. So all of those are different depending on which iPod you have. The only thing that remains the same is the dock that it comes in. So let's just quickly take out the dock here. It does have a little bit of a weight to it, the dock. It's, it's not exactly light, but then again, it's not exactly heavy. It just has a bit of a weight to it. On the front, we've got an infrared port for the Apple remote. Here we have the 30-pin uh, cable for your iPod. and. Um, on the back we have a super video port which will go video out which is what I'm really looking forward to so I can watch my music videos, movies and TV shows on my TV. Here is the actual cable that you you plug the normal Apple USB cable into the back of it and this just uh, extends as an extender which is also a dock which works perfectly and then over here we have line out for uh, audio and video. On the bottom it just says iPod with the Apple symbol designed by Apple in California Blah, blah. And that's pretty much all you get. Let me see if I can. My brother's iPod is just over here. So this is my brother's iPod 30 gig. And let's see if that that should just fit seamlessly in the dock there. So it fits absolutely perfectly in the dock. I just I really wanted this for the charging and synchronization features of the uh, iPod itself, and uh, it really fits well. Looks sleek on your desk. So it should be fantastic. Stick around for the channel for a full review on this device as well as other devices including uh, some products from iFrogs, some cases, headphones, and whatnot. This is Luke from LukeDemarco.com reminding you to rate, comment, and subscribe and to check out LukeDemarco.com. We'll see you next time.